In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly get up and running making your first audio recording in Aurea Pro. When you first launch Aurea Pro, if you are shown the demo project, which is called Heartbeats, to make a new project, you're going to want to start by tapping on the menu at the top of the screen and then New Project. And here you're going to have the New Project section and you can name your project. For this one, I'm just going to name it first. You could choose a template if you kind of know how you want your session to look like with a certain amount of tracks. You could change your sample rate from anything other than 44.1, and you could choose some blank tracks. Any uh, tracks you choose from this screen are going to be mono audio tracks. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave everything as is and click Save. And now you have your new blank session. Every session is going to have eight subgroups and a master fader. Subgroups are not audio tracks, so you're not going to be able to record to them and don't get confused by this. Subgroups are very helpful and we'll explain them in a later video. For right now, we're going to tap on menu again and now we're going to choose add track and I'm going to make four mono audio tracks. So all of your audio tracks are going to appear to the left of the subgroups. For right now, looking at each individual channel strip, if you look at the very bottom, all the tracks are going to be named uh, one through however many you make, in this case, one through four at the bottom. And then below the mute and solo buttons, there are blank rectangles. And you can go ahead and double tap in that blank space, and then you can name your tracks. So for this video, I'm just going to name the first track Vox for my vocal mic. And now you can see it's named at the bottom. You can name all audio tracks. You can name the subgroups as well. Uh, so at the top of the screen, you will see your session name. This one's called first. To the right of that, it shows the sample rate of your session. This says 44.1. And below that, it says INT. INT stands for internal. So if you are going to be recording using a USB microphone or using a USB hardware interface. If you see INT, that means that none of that stuff is connected, or if you have it connected, your iPad is not currently reading it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I have an Apogee Quartet here, and using the Apple USB to Lightning camera connection kit, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my iPad. So right after I plug my interface in, as soon as the interface boots up, you can now see that the INT has changed to USB. So now I know that the iPad is recognizing my device. Again, in this case, I'm using an Apogee Quartet, uh, so I can keep moving on and get ready to set up my recording. So in each channel strip, under the FX button, you see a record button. This is a record arm button. And so if I go ahead and click that record arm button, For the sake of this video, I'm pulling the fader down. You don't need to do this. I'm simply doing that so that I don't get any delay or feedback in my recording as I'm walking you through this. Once the track is record armed, you'll notice a few things that change on that track. The first is the input changes to one. If you tap on that little section there, it will bring up all the available inputs that your audio interface has to record simultaneously into Aurea Pro. So like I said, I'm using the Apogee Quartet, which has four mic pre's as well as eight channels of ADAT for a total of 12 inputs. Right now my microphone's plugged into input one and going to track one, so I'm happy with that. Another way to look at this is to go to the top of the screen, tap on menu, and go to input matrix. And you could see more of a graphical layout of your inputs from your interface as well as your tracks in Aurea and exactly how uh, everything is being routed. So on the top, the numbers 1 through 24, those are going to be all the available inputs from your interface that you can record to Aurea simultaneously. Anything with a gray box means it's available to be routed into Aurea. Like I said, with my interface, the quartet, I have 12 available simultaneous inputs. So 1 through 12 have gray boxes that I can click and route to different tracks. Going down on the left side are all your tracks in Aurea. So right now, I named my first track before to Vox. All the other tracks are going to be named default to track two, three, four, and so on. When you first look at this, if you haven't changed anything, by default, Aurea Pro will route the first input from your interface to the first track in Aurea, 
the second input from your interface to the second track, so on and so forth. So this might be fine when you first start making your first recording, but as you go on, create more tracks, do more overdubs. Maybe you want to leave the microphones plugged into your interface where they are. You are going to want to probably route your inputs to different tracks in Aurea. So the input matrix is a good way to look at this all at one time. Uh, so I'm happy with how this looks right now. So I'm going to X out of it. The record arm button gets your track ready and it shows input signal coming into the track. So as you could see, the meter there uh, bouncing around at this time, you could set the gain for your instrument, vocal mic, whatever you may be recording. So if I talk into my microphone, I could see that the gain looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. So we'll move on. A few more things before we get to the recording. At the top of the screen on the upper left, there is a little icon that looks like a mixer. That is the icon that will take you into the mixer screen that we are looking at right now. To the right of that, there is a waveform. If you tap on it, this takes you to the edit window or waveform view. And a lot of people prefer to record like this, as you could see the waveforms being drawn as you are recording. So we'll do our recording from this screen going forward. Directly below the mixer and waveform icons where it says 120 BPM 44, if you tap in that, it brings you to your time settings window. From here, you could turn on your metronome or click track. You could choose to do it during recording or playback and recording. You could set the level of the metronome. You can also change the tempo of your entire track, which will also change the tempo of your click track. Uh, change your session's time signature, and also choose if you want to do a count-in, which will start the click track before the actual recording starts. Uh, at the top right of the screen, there is the transport section. When you hear transport, that just means rewind, fast forward, stop, play, and record. So make sure all the tracks you want to record to simultaneously are record armed. And then in the transport, click on the record button and you'll see that blinking. And then once you're ready to start recording, hit the play button. And you could see as I talk into the microphone, the waveforms are being drawn in the session. And once you finish your recording and it's the stop button and Aurea will process the recording and you've just made your first audio recording in Aurea. So once you're done with your recording, you could take the track out of record arm so there's no input signal coming in and if you want to listen to your track there's two ways to always get back to the beginning of your session uh, the first is to tap hold and drag on this little triangle up in the timeline this is called the playback head so you could just drag that to wherever you want or you can always double tap on the rewind button in the transport section and that will take you back to the beginning of your session if you are unhappy with your recording and you want to try again, up at the top of the screen on the left next to the mixer and waveform icons, there is an undo and redo button. So you can always click the undo button and try your recording again. Uh, just so you know, Aurea is always saving. Actually, every time you touch the screen, Aurea is saving your session. So you never have to worry about losing any of your work if you need to switch to a different app or close, open a different session. Aurea is always working in the background to save your audio. Thanks for watching this video, and we will see you in the next video where we will get into some mixing and editing basics in Aurea Pro.